Hi, 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 it's Taya here. And so in today's tutorial, we will be working on the uh, um, part two of the technical interview case for business analysts. Uh, if you are applying for um, a business analyst job. And so without further ado, let's jump right to the tutorial. Okay, so on the first part, which is the tutorial number 22, I guess, um, we already covered the first and the second requirement. We walked through the background of the application, how we're going to make it, uh, I mean, the main features. Um, write the first part of the SRS document, which uh, comprise of the goal, main features, note, problem and stuff. And we also draw the site map of the application. And on the third one, we'll be, we will be developing the features specification and the special use case um, in order uh, uh, for the features create an action. And uh, yeah, and, and, and I will also tie this requirement 3 with the requirement 5, which is the drawing, the markup of the create action. Okay, so without further ado okay so um, I will start this one with um, the specification uh, with the title which is the specification for great in action and I will follow um, this requirement with the template from my company which is a com product company so the first one we will have is the uh, document control information which is spec owner at the reviewer, the stakeholder, and the status. So um, after this one, you will go to the overview, and in the overview, you would propose the business problem, the objective, and how you approach this one. So for the business objective, you will write the user story here. So the first one, uh, okay. So you may need to go back to the first tutorial because I explained a lot them already uh, about how I want to build this, and it's just kind of like the follow up of the first tutorial. So the user story one is that as an assigner, I want to create a task and assign it to the assignee with the information, like the title, description, and deadline, and so the assignee can perform uh, and follow the description and follow the description and uh, I'm sorry confirm that they have performed the action and the next user story too is that as a assigner after create a task for assigner assignee I can add reviewer to the task as they can perform a checking after the assignees can mark the task has been done okay so they are the two main user story and the business active objective is that you will um, have some kind of behavior or a button that can lead to the perform to the form uh, to create a task and then um, inside you would have uh, this kind of information and then um, after it has been created you um, the system will create the ticket on the task you assign on the ball respectively in order to uh, for 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 the um, anyone involved to perform the task. So for the approach here, normally you I, I, I would draw a flow chart because it's easier uh, to understand and easier to explain <laughs> almost. So firstly, you have the two ball, so you to the task, which means the task that other assigned to you and the task you assign either place uh, is a ball where you create a task for other and to create a new task you go to task your side ball uh, and in this ball uh, it will have the flow like this so the first one is that if as in the assign assigner task you assign he can go to task you assign he create a task he input information in the pop-up and then he hit create so, and after he create um, the ticket um, it will appear on his as your task you assign ball in to do okay and um, in the meantime oh, I'm sorry um, also at the same time 
another ticket is created in your to-do task on the assignee view so that he can perform them okay so that is the flow and also um one more thing so if you want to learn about how to draw this kind of flow go back to the tutorial number eight where i teach how to draw the uh, bpmn flow uh, the activity diagram okay next you will have the reference is the design you propose so here you just put kind of like the simple design with no description so that they would have the ideas of uh, like a very general ideas um, and things of how it work here's the bar and here is the button after you hit the button it will create this pop-up to input the information and then the impact module so there are different modules that can be impacted within this uh, um, this feature and so there are two which is your to do task and task you assign will be impacted and you would here uh, you normally you would need to put it because uh, later on you can sort out all the use case within these features okay so next is the functional requirement and in here you will have to is this part of the specification you will put the use case uh, and create it okay so the first use case is um, that you will have the button to create a task on task you assign and it will uh, have the use case name overview after recognition and stuff so uh, but mainly for the steps so that the developer can create this so just pay attention to here you will list all the step uh, to do so create a task input the information hit save and then how the system will respond and also the exception no flow so let me talk about the exception flow so for the exception flow um it means that normally if you encounter an error when you uh, perform this feature how it will respond how the system will respond so that is the exception flow and here we have the alternative flow so here is the edit the creative task so for the creative task uh, you only allow the assigner to edit if um, it is still on the to do column of the assignee and the alternative flow is that um, for example um, uh, for example if you, the, the, the in the pop-up here um, but the user they haven't uh, finished edit this one but they click outside of the pop-up it will have some kind of message to make sure that uh, he cancel or close anyway so that is alternative flow an alternative flow is that uh, when the happy case is not performed correctly uh which one is the other way that he can reach the destination without the normal step okay so after the use case you will put the requirement immediately after this and for this one normally i would uh draw on asu and then i put the description right on here so that is easier for the reader to understand and also it's very intuitive in order to learn the application okay so here we have the requirement so if it is to create an assigned task uh, it will be fixed on the bottom left of the task and it will be float on the on the, the ticket so here you, you can see that there are a list of tickets and if there are three uh, you need to requirement so that this one will flow on this one flow on this column and create a task form there are a lot of requirements here for example the length of the title How, uh, we, this one is a read text and limited to 5000 characters uh, assigning here um, is the third and select and cannot be the same as the assignee um, the priority three stages the reviewer has to click here in order to uh, able to be input here this one is undo 
we under one step in the safe after the user have input all the information okay here day picker for the deadline and normally i would put like the before and after so that they can have the ideas of how the uh, action will be created so after we create here and I input information about his save and then their ticket uh, will show here okay so that is the first uh, specification of this one so yeah for the next tutorial i will go back to the sorry i will go to the requirement 4 and 6 above the specification for confirm i have performed the action and also the dashboard specification uh this one th these two will be combined because it's shorter because i don't have to explain everything on the steps that i would do so yeah so without further ado uh bye see you in the next time